Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk real quickly of how I use the active pause feature. It's not a bug, I like how it actually holds your aircraft in the air while you go ahead and set things up. So um, I use it in this very narrow use case of landing practices and I call this the lineup and land feature, not, not, not their name, my label for it. So let's go over what lineup and land means. Pick the airport which you would like to practice. I'm just gonna pick Sydney and pick a runway I'm just going to pick, well, let's just accept 16R. So, uh, 16R, do not click on, do not, do not specify a departure point, except the so-called vicinity airborne. I'm going to go ahead and click fly now, because it will take some time to load. So, what this game you later, or simu game will do now, is to actually spawn you lined up with the runway, already in landing configuration, and if there is an ILS, uh, localizer for that runway your aircraft should already be set up so, what happens though is it's typically unstable in the first few seconds of flight uh, so what I do is I use active pause to stabilize the aircraft and then proceed with the landing practice the reason why it's unstable is because your throttle lever is not configured right to match the speed you should be at landing your trim may not be trim for landing and I know I did say that the aircraft will be set in landing configuration but perhaps the default landing configuration is not what you want all right you notice gears down I have flaps one yeah I'm at that uh, Kingsford Smith runway and you can see I'm already all lined up so I'm gonna click on uh, ready to fly and immediately go into active pause and active pause you heard that stall warning right it's really unstable first thing I want to do though is to make sure I maintain my speed so you do not want your speed to be changing rapidly. So I'm adjusting my throttle lever right now to maintain a slowly changing speed. All right, so we do not over speed or under speed. Now, quickly set up the aircraft. Um, it does help if you're already familiar. So maybe practice on the ground and, and uh, be familiar as to what keyboard shortcuts to press and how to set up your aircraft for landing. Now, you notice that the localizer is, oh, I'm losing speed. It's, throttle up a bit. I want to hit approach speed at about 150 for this aircraft. I have the glide slope, I have the localizer, it's all tuned. I just need to fly the aircraft down. Now, landing configuration, I'm in flaps 2. I like it to be in full flaps so I can go ahead and go for full flaps right now. Uh, check spoilers is normal. Okay, take a look at the airspeed again, take a look at the airspeed again. I have to increase to 150. Okay, very good. And then, of course, I can pick a sitting position. So, I am going to unpause in 3, 2, 1, and smooth transition into flight, like so. No stall warnings, no unwanted pitch oscillations because it's all trimmed up and I am in my favorite flaps position. Right, I guess you don't need to watch me land here, so I will stop the video now, but. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll find this tip useful in how to use active pause and how to consistently practice landings. Alright, I'm going to end now. I need to focus on landing. Sterile cockpit. Till next time, fly safe.